Are you planning an RV trip up the main coastline? Then I want to share with you the triple crown of campgrounds in the main coastline in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. My name's Patrick and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, I'm so glad you stopped by. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. Now today what I want to do is help you out if you're trying to plan an RV trip up the Maine coastline. Now Maine has over 3,000 miles of coastline and it is some of the most gorgeous scenery that you will ever see here in the United States. So if you're going to be planning that RV trip up Route 1, I think we have found three amazing campgrounds for you to stop at so you can explore various areas of the coastline. Now we're going to start your trip out in the quaint little coastal town of Booth Bay. And when you're in Booth Bay, we highly recommend you check out the Booth Bay Craft Brewery and RV Park. Yep, I said that right, Craft Brewery and RV Park. Now. This campground is owned by a wonderful family who have been making beer for several years and they've really crafted wonderful beers. And they have an amazing tavern with wonderful food. But more importantly, they're also RVers and they put in a small campground right on site with their brewery and tavern. Now, they were one of the original Harvest Host hosts, and in fact, they were the first brewery to ever participate in Harvest Host. So you can Harvest Host there, but you can also rent one of their sites. They have back-ends, they have pull-throughs, water and electric sites, and they even have full hookups. They do have a dump station, and they have this amazing brand new shower house and laundry facility. What makes it a great location is you can explore Booth Bay Harbor and the surrounding areas. And while you're at Booth Bay Harbor, we highly recommend you book a trip out to Cabbage Island for one of their famous clam bakes. Your price of your admission includes a 55 minute tour of the harbor, as well as an amazing lobster dinner. Two lobsters, fish chowder, steamers, corn on the cob, potatoes, and so much more, including their famous Maine blueberry cake for dessert, and then you will cruise back into harbor. It's a wonderful time. Once you're done exploring in Booth Bay, then we recommend you head north on one and go up to the small town of Rockport where you will find Magunta Cook Campground. Now this campground has over 80 sites ranging from tent sites to full hookup sites and it's located right on the sea. You can literally walk from your site down a small path to an overlook of the ocean where they have lots of benches, picnic tables, and even a swing where you can sit for hours just enjoying the sound of the water lapping up against the rocks of the main coastline. Now again, there are wonderful hosts at this campground and it's one of the reasons that we recommend it. It's family owned and it's family friendly. They have a swimming pool, they have bathhouses, they have a laundry room on site. And during the summer months on the weekends, they sometimes host lobster bakes. So you can purchase a ticket to join them down by the sea at a picnic table where they will serve up lobster, grilled chicken, corn on the cob, potatoes, and coleslaw. And it's just a wonderful evening meeting your fellow campers as you enjoy that succulent lobster meat. And while you're at Rockport, there are so many great little communities around there to explore. The town of Camden offers some wonderful shopping and dining opportunities, as well as the city of Rockland, which also has many things to see, along with lighthouses. If you enjoy checking out lighthouses, we highly recommend a trip over to the Owl's Head Lighthouse, where you can actually walk right up to the lighthouse and see the beautiful view from the point. And one once you're done exploring the Rockport, Camden, Rockland area, you're going to turn your trip on north up to the city of Ellsworth where I'm standing today at the Forest Ridge Campground on Flockamoosin Way. Now we've stayed here multiple times and this campground is run by Jeff and Lynn, the owners, and they're just wonderful people who have taken us in like family and they'll do the same for you during your stay. The 70 site park has everything from back into pull through water electric sites and full hookup sites. They have a dump station on site and their restrooms and laundry room as well as their pool are sparkling clean. It's one of the quietest campgrounds we've ever stayed in and it's dark at night. 
it's a great place to check out the stars and you never know what wildlife you might see wandering around the campground in the evening. Now what makes this campground special besides the people who own it is the location. Ellsworth is a perfect base camp for your trip to go out exploring Acadia National Park. You're less than 50 minutes from downtown Bar Harbor where you can take in all the shops and restaurants and then begin your journey around Acadia Park. Also, make sure you get over to Scudic, which is part of the National Park, but it's the lesser visited place. Drive out, take a picnic and a couple of chairs and sit on the rocks and watch the water come in and out. I also would highly recommend while you're staying here at Forest Ridge that you plan a trip over to Momo's Cheesecake. Now, what makes Momo so special is not only do they have countless numbers of flavors of their amazing cheesecake, but it's a 24-7 self-serve honor system cheesecake location. Meaning, if you get the urge for cheesecake at 3 o'clock in the morning, you can drive over to Momo's, walk right in, choose your cheesecake, pay by cash, check, or Venmo, and bring it back to your campsite for that late night snack. These are three awesome RV parks along the coast of Maine, and they make for a great way to travel up and down the coast with family owned and operated campgrounds that care about you and will make your trip extra special. I'm gonna go ahead and link a video right up here for you when we stayed here last year at Forest Ridge to give you all the details about this specific campground. And until next time, everyone, we will see you on down the coast of Maine. Good night.